Live from Shadowmere Studios, it's Talkie Box. You're going to love the way you look. I guarantee it. After you that, weren't saying mask. that last week, were you, Dave? No. No. <laughs> no, you weren't. I mean, I love the way I look. Yeah? I guarantee it. I and guarantee so, you love the way you look. Yeah. I mean, so you have a safe guarantee over here. All right, cool. My beard's growing back. I'm really excited about that. I'm that excited about that, too. We yeah. all are. So... Who is it? What are you dinging about over who's, there? Who's, I don't know. They're who's, dinging about you. Who's not uh, silent? This guy over here. It's silent. Surprise. <laughs> silent but deadly. Yeah. What are you doing? You're just we're we're going to just move on with the show. All right. All right. We're just going to do a show rap, instead. Rap, rap, rap. Let's not worry about him. Let's do a show instead. I'm Dave. Hey, Dave. The host with the most boast. Oh, <laughs> no. No, you're not. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Jason's with me today Woo! uh justin yep hey eh? and then tech our resident asian yes <laughs> the only Back asian for, here this is your third episode right yeah this is my third now yeah. oh yeah Woo! now you get a discount on uh yes on this what on, on this products. mug yeah on that mug. <laughs> oh let me sit by this you can use it. <laughs> that one's a rental it's all yours yeah. oh it's a rental yeah dang it yeah that's, that fee? one's been passed around quite a bit actually you're only really entitled to jason's mug yeah mm-hmm yeah, mm. the one he's definitely put his lips all over. Well, I put my lips all over everything. Everything. Yeah. We Gross. all know this. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can smell my coffee breath on it. Ah, uh, I don't like it. Yeah. So it's we terrible. all we all survived a hurricane. Oh man. Yes, right? we did. I yeah. was Tropical a little storm. loose-lipped uh, at an earlier episode and talked a little shit about uh, Harvey. Yeah. And then what happened? Irma. Irma happened. Yeah. Then we're going to have she Jose. She was like, ha ha, you think your shit's funny, do you? <laughs> uh, so then she turned out my power. I think she turned out, I think yeah. she turned out everybody's power. She turned out my power. Yeah. She definitely turned out my power. Yeah, yeah my power went out re- last night about 8.30. I had, I had been home for about 20 minutes. I was eating dinner, and the power went out. And so I had to eat the last couple bites in pitch blackness. Um, oh, that's always pleasant. Yeah. Wasn't it an adventure though? Didn't Not being able to like see what you're putting in your mouth. It wasn't that big. I was eating. <laughs> I, I had already finished uh, the steak I, I was having, and I was eating some cheese sticks, some mozzarella sticks. And you just kind of have to feel around I was like, for them. There's one. Ah. <laughs> you know, you so, do have a flashlight on your phone. My phone was at four percent battery. Oh, oh that's the perfect yeah. time for the power to go out. So <laughs> I, I was planning on as soon as I finished eating, I was planning on going, putting my phone in the charger, and like watching some Walking Dead or something. Right. And of course, like the power, the power flashed. And I was like, oh, okay. And it flashed again. Like, all right. And it went out, came back for like five seconds, and then went pitch black for about twelve hours. Yep. Um. So, yeah, that meant you know, no Netflix, no Facebook, like nothing going on. So what did you do? Hashtag first I mean, world problems. Obviously, yeah, really, right? It really was, yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, I end up, I end up reading a book, finishing the book I was reading by flashlight. Oh, so all right. that was nice. Well, I, I started it, and and then I fell asleep reading, and then woke up at like two in the morning, finished it, and then fell back asleep at four, or I tried to fall back asleep, um, but like I. When I sleep, I typically have the TV going or something. There's something making noise that I'll fi- eventually fall asleep to. Right. Besides and just so, the rain. Yeah. Because like, that's all you can hear when the power is out. There's well, no electronic hum in the house. Right. I just or, heard like shutters just hitting the walls outside the windows. Um, Even though you don't so have real what shutters. I, what I did, yeah, they're fake shutters. However, they're just not one very of them, well attached. Yeah, so, one like, one the <laughs> um, so what I did is I had the, the, the iPhone that we shoot the show on. And it's actually Justin's old phone. Yeah, I remember. And that, so I was like going through the music, and it, and iTunes is like, uh, no, nah, dude, you gotta log into some Wi-Fi or something. I was like, oh, that sucks. I ended up finding a single file in there. It was a Tom Segura sketch. Yep. Uh, <laughs> that it would let me play. And I was like, okay, I like Tom Segura. He's got great stand-up material. And then once it finished that one, it just moved on to the next one like it was nothing. I'm like, cool. So I just started hitting shuffle on it, and you know. Listen to music until I fell asleep. Oh, right. mm. So nice. Yeah, it was, it was a nice, uh, nice time. Woke up this morning, <coughs> power was ba- came back on. Oh, uh, that's a nice way to wake up. Yeah, and then uh, around like 1 o'clock, AT&T got their shit together, and I got like eight text messages immediately from like you and you and like several other people. Like, hey, you got power? You live? What's going on? <laughs> so, yeah. They Good put times. That, they put that uh, that satellite array back up. I guess, yeah. Uh, yeah, we, we, we lost the power at our house, uh, immediately went outside to try and find candles because we didn't have enough candles. Right. 
Uh, ended up buying some some Jewish dinner candles. Okay. Yep. Uh, we're not in the candle aisle. Now, can no. you explain that? Can you explain what a Jewish dinner candle is? Is it I, just a the, candle? I'll give you the best description that I have. We were in the candle aisle. Okay. Of... Of a Publix. Okay. All right. So a limited candle aisle. <laughs> Limit, limited, <laughs> limited candle aisle. Uh, all of the long candles were gone. All they had were scented candles. And my dad said, wait a minute. And he went a few miles. Wait, your dad's in to, town? He was. He's he, already left. He escaped okay. the hurricane. He escaped yeah. the and has hurricane. now escaped Georgia. <laughs> yes. Um, he's like, wait a minute. Fuck. I have an idea. Mm-hmm. He goes down to the ethnic foods aisle. Right. And in the Jewish Jewish section, Is there are Jewish these section? tiny little candles it's that like burn candles up to twenty six hours, and they have a lot of Hebrew written on them. Okay, yeah, don't know what they're used for or why they're in the food aisle, but they were there, and they were life. Are they for like menorahs and stuff? Like, I don't think. Yeah. I don't know. I, mean, I, I used to date probably. a Jewish girl, and I, I, mean, I don't remember any dinner candles going on. I don't on know if they're dinner Hanukkah. candles or what they are, but they're candles, yeah. and they're for Jewish stuff because it's Jewish all over. Well, you know, you know, Hanukkah was about the burning of oil that yeah. like uh, miraculously lasted way longer than right. anticipated. And so that's where the, the Hanukkah celebration Hanukkah. comes from. Yes. Hanukkah. Yeah, you're pronouncing it correctly. Hanukkah. 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 But, yeah. um... Yeah, that's that's neat that he was a. I guess because your father used to work at Publix. He used to work at Publix. So he not was a aware of the stock in the house. He's like, oh, I know where something. I might know be. where secret candles are. <laughs> secret candles in the food section. But really, I just had like a little, um, like tool belt flashlight that I just turned on and pointed at the ceiling, and it actually yeah. lit up the room much better than a candle, a candle would. Just because it's a white ceiling, so it's just reflecting back down there and making more light. That's how my I have a flashlight. Somebody gave it to me. I don't even know where I got it. Like it was a gift at some point, and I and I turned it on. It's already once super bright, but then on the the white walls and ceiling and stuff, it just really illuminated the area. It was yep. really nice. Makes makes a big difference. I had to use still, my romance candles. Still oh, yeah. a pale glow. I was sad. <laughs> it's not as lively. Fire is lively, though. I will say yeah. that lighting a room by fire, you get a lot of character. Oh yes, a lot oh, of yes. character. Yeah, a lot of. Romance. I only own one candle, I think, and I've never burned it. So, <laughs> is it a votive or a tea light? Neither. It's actually one that a dude made. Uh, there was a guy that I worked with at old day job, and he like th- a we, we jar had, candle. Yeah, okay. he made he took a the the jar from like a, a syrup, and then took some of the crayons that I would give to the kids, melted them down, and made candles with them. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and then he's got it like some scented wax or something, so it's supposed to smell like the the beach or something. But I've never burned it, so I, I don't know. I should. I also lost every lighter I own, so I couldn't. I couldn't even burn it if I wanted to. Wow, Boy Scout, you are not. I was, but not anymore. No, not anymore. You I'm don't have like a flint old. knife. Hmm? You don't have a flint knife. Nope. He's a slacker. Yeah, yeah. I have my zombie kit in my car. Well, not in my car anymore. But it has Actually, a flint knife. I probably do have like a flint and steel thing upstairs, <laughs> like in my room somewhere. I just don't. I didn't. I didn't feel like feeling around for it with my flashlight. <laughs> You're just like, uh, that was, that was it, doing it? just fine. But yeah, I don't you know gotta if be prepared, you've bud. used flint and steel before, but it mm-hmm. ain't exactly for lighting a candle. It's really not. It's more no, it's, for like lighting a cotton swab. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then, using then blowing that on other it things. And then lighting that from other, yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. It's small steps. Lighting yes. a torch. So <laughs> what, did, what did you do? The power went out at, at your house? Were you at your house when the power yeah. went out? What were you doing when the power went out? Well, I came home from a day job and... uh I didn't know what to do, so I was like, all right, you know what? I want to see things, so got my romance candles out. (laughs) I was so sad. I used a whole pack of romance candles. I was like, Oh, damn. damn. Like candles you were specifically saving for some certain special someone. Listen. You You were going to put them around the bathroom with some rose petals (laughs) Exactly, exactly. Like have have a nice trail. I drew you a bath. (laughs) Got to have the heart on the bed with the candles and stuff like that. (laughs) You know, fire hazard, but. Right. Right. All for the romance. And your polyester bed spread on fire. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it it's silk. Be. Oh, sure it is. It is actually silk. Yeah. Okay. See, I'm actually see, now the next. If you try and use them on another lady, she's gonna be looking and be like, "You already burnt these." Yeah, I know. Yeah. Like, yeah, these yeah, ain't, um, these, these aren't, aren't for, for me. me. Well, what is this? What is you this? Using, I'm getting some second rate. No, see, we got, you just gotta tell you know. There's that superstition about having un- unburnt candles. In your house, you're not supposed to. Like as soon as you get a candle, before you put it, like you're supposed to burn it a little bit. 
Really? Yep. Or, or they may actually appreciate the honest story of there was a hurricane, yo. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Look, there was a hurricane. I had to out. use All it. All I had I was had your candles, it. girl. I was thinking of you, even though I hadn't met yeah, you four yet. Four months ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, had I was thinking you, about but... meeting the most beautiful girl. Girl, you her. <laughs> <laughs> you the one I was thinking about. I was lamenting burning these candles because I knew you would come into my life. Oh, it breaks my heart. So what did what did you do? You burnt those candles. That's like four minutes, five minutes of time. <laughs> okay. I I literally burnt like maybe a good dozen candles. Oh, I wow. put it all around my room and I was just like, you know, this is actually pretty nice, mm. you know. But then at the same time, I was like, dang, these oh, candles were expensive. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, ah. Maybe I should have went to Publix. No, but you said you were just saying treat yourself. I know. I was well, treating treat myself. <laughs> I put on some uh, nice, like, romance music. I was like, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Late in May, I, I was deserve like, oh, this. Yes. <laughs> Gave myself a little uh, shoulder massage and everything with my massage oils and Man. stuff. <laughs> it sounds like you pampered yourself. The whole kid nice. out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You don't even you. know. You don't even know. Good I put the rose good. petals. I threw it up in the air. Thought that it was like a slow mo. Just like, oh man, this is beautiful. <laughs> Dark and quiet. It becomes <laughs> me time. Now, yeah. now I do want to say something about when the power say goes it into out. Your microphone. Hey, <laughs> not, Dave, can you hear me now? Deep. Can you hear me now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Whenever the power goes out, whenever there seems to be like a natural disaster of some kind, snowstorms or, you know, a flurry if you live in Georgia, when things just shut down around us, Mm. I think everybody has this habit that I think we all need to agree as a society to put a stop to. And that's going out to eat and going out to stores (laughs) when the power goes out and the weather outside is screwed up. Yes, please. Yeah. Because a lot of businesses try and stay open because they know people go out and they ask their employees to go out into hellish weather to take care of other people who are going out into hellish weather. And nine times out of ten, most of the staff doesn't show up and they just end up getting crushed. Uh They end up getting killed because everything's closed and they're like, well, let's go piss on these people who are already getting pissed on by going out. I think we all should agree as a society. Let's stop doing that. Yep. I mean, I mean as a society, <laughs> we have supply and we have demand. You're right. And the demand is that people that don't have power go somewhere where there's power <laughs> and make a better life for themselves. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> While shitting on the people who While have power. While shitting on the people who happen to have that power. Mm-hmm. So I would suggest... From a restaurant's perspective, if you just can't handle it, um, go ahead and monitor your door a little bit. You know, let people know. <laughs> Start like, turning people away. Or just like, put sorry. on like an hour-long wait. Like you are, of course, we are glad you're here. Feel free to enjoy our electric light <laughs> and you know like the music the i music. have some wall outlets over here you know <laughs> you need to charge of, your phone we have yeah. a seating area you know and feel free to sit down in about 50 minutes we should be able to get you guys in here and you know what they'll do they'll probably just sit right down <laughs> sit right down because they know and the option and bitch yep and wait always and bitch. no matter what but you just got to have someone. I can't believe you let me into your restaurant and had me wait. I think the issue is that there is no longer a, a mater d. There's no longer a concierge. There's no longer a controlling force on the floor that starts at the door hmm. and and lets people know that come in like, hey, we're glad you're here. We appreciate your business, but we are not here to be abused. Yeah. I am very proud and prominent in my station, and I get paid well yeah. to be here, and I am going to control you, or I am going to throw you out. I think the reason we don't have that is because we don't have a very large French population here, especially in Georgia, and I feel if you're a mater d, you kind of got to be French. I could you fake at least- it. <laughs> You at least have to have a douchey mustache. I oh, yeah, that's, that's at important. At a minimum. Yeah. You keep it at the host stand. So yeah. When their shift is over, they can just pull it <laughs> off uh-huh. and just be like, Good you, evening, Here you sir. go, Leslie. Like, thanks, Bob. 
Oh, yeah. Welcome to Je te Tron. <laughs> je te Tron. Like, I welcome, thought, I suppose. <laughs> it says Bob's outside. <laughs> That's how it's pronounced inside. <laughs> je te Tron. <laughs> je te Tron. <laughs> It's never pronounced the I, same way twice. I, I, no, it would never be. <laughs> it would not be. That's how I would made her yeah. be, and people would love it. That's probably true. Now we didn't get it. What did you do last night for your for your power outage? This. Uh well, my power, power outage, outage wasn't last night. My power right. outage began at one p.m. Like the, the first breeze that blew in from this like, hurricane and out and knocked that shit right on out. <laughs> so then I went on the good for you. I went on the uh, I I said I bid adieu to uh, my family mm -hmm. and was like, enjoy the nothingness. <laughs> I'm going to go brave the storm. I'm Don't gonna, try and stop me. And they did. They tried to stop me. Yeah. And I was like, no. <laughs> no, I will happen. not be trapped here. I will not sit here and smell each other's farts all night. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Do it's you want more like a stable for humans. I must l escape. Yeah. So I, I left. I went to my friend uh, Katie Bobby, yeah. who uh, two out of three of y'all are familiar with. Yep. Yep. And um, I figured with her proximity to uh, a downtown center that she would be have a hot grid you know like yeah her grid would grid. go down she's actually near an airport and stuff like that yeah. so i figured she would have power mm. uh little mm. did i know that about an hour after getting there and soaking up her power mm. uh that a great big tree fully alive and functional until the hurricane came along and just blew it right out of the ground <laughs> like roots and all i guess yeah. just in some soft dirt and blew it right on to the power lines like outside of her neighborhood. Ooh. Damn. So that's just a sorry. Yeah. This is just a neighborhood, an isolated incident. So she probably still doesn't have power. Because, you know, they're going to put it into a specific order of like right. keep the hospitals hot, you know, and then like large swaths of residential yeah. zone and stuff like Take that. Take care of the, the, the larger population. Exactly. First. If this is. One, you know, if it's a small isolated incident where it's only like 10 homes that are affected, they're going to be at the bottom of that long yeah. list. And so that just sucked for her. So I felt so bad. I actually hung out, uh, took her to Walmart because they had power. Yeah. Let so, me treat you to some Walmart exactly, electricity, yeah. girl. <laughs> Come with me. I'm a, I'm a good friend. Yeah. Let's go people watch treat at Walmart. Treat yourself. You know there's some crazy hurricane shenanigans oh, going yeah. on at the Walmart right now. People trying to steal things and everything. And everything. All the waters. Everything. Spe speaking of wind damaging stuff, so last night I was Are at we work. Of that? Well, the, well, we <laughs> spoke of it. Tree. Uh, <laughs> I'm at work and I get a text from my roommate who tells me now. Now I live in a castle, or at least a house that kind of resembles a castle. It's a <laughs> castle, complete with like stone facing on some of it. And uh, I get a text from my roommate that some of the stones from the tower, because my house has a tower had fallen off of the tower directly onto where I, I usually park my car. So had I been at home, I would have a broken car mm -hmm. with just rocks in it. Um, nice. But I wasn't at home. I was at day job. And we, we decided to close a couple hours early. It's a locally owned restaurant. Uh, we can do whatever the hell we want. So we, we usually close at 9. We ended up closing at 7. Uh, but about 15 minutes before we closed... This group of like eight people came in. Now, they had no way of knowing that we were going to close early, so I can't fault them for that. <clears throat> but they came in. We made their food. They ate. Everything's cool. So I'm sitting there cleaning, wiping down some stuff, and some guy comes up to the, the kitchen window. He's like, hey, just want to thank you. The food was great. We really appreciate it. I'm like, hey, thanks. Y'all have a great night. Be safe out there. It's really windy. A couple minutes later, this woman comes up. Are you one of the cooks? I'm like, yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm one of the three cooks. She's like, okay. Gives us five bucks. To the cooks. I'm like, nice. Jealous. That's really cool. A minute later, another lady comes up. Are you a cook? Yeah. We're one of the, one of the three cooks. Uh, gives us $3. Cook, the cook. Yeah. Another lady comes up, gives us six bucks. So these people tip $14 just to the cooks on top of whatever they tip to their uh, their actual server. So I was like, damn. I've, I've done that before. Usually at diners mm -hmm. where I can make, where I have to make eye contact with yeah. the cook. Uh, I'll, you know, I, if I watch them do a good job and like put some care into my food, right. then I'll throw a couple of bucks to Absolutely. the chef. 
you know, it's and just, that's really a lot of people don't don't take the time to really think about that or do that. Like, nope, you know, nope. these people, and and granted, it was you know a extenuating circumstance. There's a hurricane outside, and they knew that we had to power. be out in this kind of stuff. You know, <coughs> so it was really cool. These people, and they were they were an older group. They you know most of them were probably in their sixties or seventies, but maybe there was, it was really a, nice to, they were evacuees or something. Could have been. I don't know. Uh, I haven't been there long enough to recognize any of the regulars, so I don't. I think. Um, no, that's not. I was gonna say one of them used to work there, but I think that was a different table. Um, but yeah, it was it was really nice of them to to do that, and it would be nice if other people did that for the cooks. It would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. But but generally, mm-hmm. you know, a, a restaurant should pay a cook what they're worth. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So. Yeah. Not oh, my day yeah. job. Depending on where you are, cooks can get paid pretty pretty well. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm I'm not hurting so. Um, nice. So after nice. after Walmart, we had Z our Walmart buying. experience. Yeah. Um, then we went back, uh, hoping that we had taken long enough for at least someone to come and cut the tree down out of the power lines. No, nope. uh, no, not, <laughs> not happening. So we did, did, now did she did either of y'all like call to let the power company know that this was happening? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, Katie was on top of that. All right. Like, the moment that it went out. Yeah. Um. <laughs> like, Power's out. Hey, hey! There's a tree on our line. Hey, I was right in the middle of something. <laughs> <laughs> you are gonna turn that shit back on right now. Are you texting? Mm-hmm. You were you texting the? Yeah, yeah. I was texting the power. <laughs> or possibly dialing a number. I might have been dialing a really long. Maybe they have an extension. <laughs> I was like, why are you texting the power company? One eight hundred power company extension. Like, where the fuck is my energy? I like the pantomime for the audience so that they. They feel like they're participating in our antics. <laughs> so we uh, are we all doing it? Yeah, yeah we were okay. all doing it. Yeah. yeah, it's 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 a thing now. Okay, so <laughs> we're uh, having fun. Now I'm on an iPod. So I do that. We um, <laughs> no, you're on iPod. Is that the iPod Shuffle right there? That was the iPod Shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find my song. I was like, what? what is, are you scrolling down right now? I'm scrolling. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, that's a good one. I'm gonna play that one. Oh Love man. Her. Ooh. And so then we went to a Waffle House. <laughs> uh, we spent a little bit of time hanging out, uh, smoking at her house, and got bored and hungry. And, you know, you can't open the fridge. You're not supposed to. Because you're going to let all your cold air out. You're not mm-hmm. supposed to. And you can't uh, turn on the oven. Nope. Or the microwave. Or or anything, or that, anything that works with power. From, that, from the wall. Unless you got, like, a gas oven. Gas right. stove. Even with a gas mm-hmm. oven, you have to have the electronics to set the temperature. Mm-hmm. True. So, gas, gas stove, stove with gas and no ventilation. Yes. Correct. Yeah. That's a window. good time. But we didn't do any of that. We went to Waffle House. Uh, <laughs> we actually drove all over looking at hurricane damage. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I basically just had Katie yell out whenever she saw a restaurant that was open. Because there were very few of them. Yeah. Uh, some just without power. Some that were just not having it. Yeah. Um, so we drove around for a long time and our choices came down to a, uh, a McDonald's and you know, we don't, we don't do that. Nope. We don't do that to ourselves. Uh, there was a KFC, which I considered mm. just cause you can get some, some good biscuits and oh, yeah. some, and some instant mash, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we wound up going to the Waffle House. No. Yeah. Uh, just because. It was more of a an experience. We were we were in it for the time. Like yeah. we weren't trying to just eat. I mean, if you're people watching at Walmart, you can also people watch at the Waffle House. Exactly. So, yeah. Dude, and and I can. think we might have actually seen some of the same people. <laughs> you probably did. <laughs> I, th- I think some of those folks had the same idea. Yeah. <laughs> but good times. So we we did that. We got back to her place probably about ten and and I just couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna lay with my pop and go to sleep because I just I just can't do it anymore yeah sometimes sleep is the best solution yeah just let some time pass let that time pass so I woke up and and we had power still no cable still no internet Hmm. but eh it's all right. at least you can charge your phone yeah I couldn't do that for 11 hours Jason charging his phone isn't gonna do (laughs) a lot of good it just means he can keep calling and texting people yeah hmm Jason is one of the and, and I used to be one one of the few people who did not have smartphones, and up until I don't know a little over a year ago I didn't have a smartphone, 
And now I got a Windows phone, and isn't that quality? Mm-hmm. It certainly is, Dave. <laughs> didn't didn't someone one of your day job folks actually just pity you and give you a smartphone? Uh, she sold it to me. Yeah, but for a pit seventy five dollars. Well, I mean, the apparently she didn't understand how to use it. That's because it's a Windows phone. It's so yeah. easy to use, though. I don't know. Oh, I shouldn't say what she actually watches. <laughs> but you're tech. Thanks, Subi. <laughs> yeah, we, we really appreciate you watching the show, and Dave really appreciates you selling Giving him that, that phone. smartphone. Yep. He didn't have one before. I did not. I had a flip phone. Yeah, He was off the grid. I got to say, though, if you're going to have a non-smartphone, you should have a flip phone. Heck yeah. Because it is so, it just so rewarding to hang up on someone, you know? Or just hang up in general. Clear. Yeah. Like that, that good. Because, you know, you used to be, when, when you had, you know, your corded phones and stuff, which still exists. You just like slam that thing down. Now it's just like, and then with the with the flip phone, you slam it on them too. But see, any other also, phone, not doing that. It's also the like the importance of making a call. You can make something seem like really important. Oh yeah. You know, with a flip phone, you're like, oh, hold on one second. Hello. <laughs> Whereas <laughs> with a smartphone, try or something. Or with a with a smartphone, it's like, hold on, really quick, I got to make a phone call. Hello. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys remember those sidekicks or the razor and stuff? I thought oh, yeah. I was the coolest person. It's like, hold on, guys. Whoosh. Oh yeah, the one that, that flips around. Yeah, yeah. that thing was I sick. Have, I used to have a Helio phone. Do you remember Helio? I don't no. even. Nope. No, it was, it was. It only lasted for a little while. It was a Korean company. Like, like a Zune. Kind of. <laughs> only, I mean, it was just these specific phones. You can only have like one of however many models that they had. Mm. Uh, and they had the first dual keyboard phone is one of the ones that I had. So dual you flipped key- it one you flipped it one way and it just kind of slid open. Yeah. And you oh. had like the numeral keypad. Okay. And then you could close and then you could just slip it the other way and then it has the full QWERTY keyboard. Oh, okay. The sound yeah. infe- effects were important. Yeah. Because you I used to have got that. I used to have a slider phone that had sound effects for the slide. Yep. This one had a sound effect for like it was like a, a sword. Really? Shing. Huh. What, because it was uh, a Korean brand? Yep. I mean, I'm assuming. What does that have to do with <laughs> Yes. I mean, he is our resident Asian. That's true. I, I don't think you should oddly racist thing. You shouldn't debate any oddly racist Asian thing that he says. Yeah. Look, he said sword sound. I was like, oh, hold up. Was it because it's a Asian film? Yeah, but you uh, said Korean. Koreans are Asian. They That's are, true. but not... You know, when you think of like swords and stuff, you don't typically think of Koreans. You think of Japanese and sometimes uh, Chinese. Racist. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, kind of, Super yeah. Racist. But I mean, most of your your swords you usually think of like m- medieval, hmm? like Germanic swords, or you think of like your katanas yeah. and stuff like that. Your Japanese. See, so it doesn't have to be, uh, you know, racist to Asians. We can totally. But that's like, where you went with it. Yeah. So that's because I'm Asian. I can't I'm allowed. If I were, to, if I were to say something racist and funny, I would have said something like unison drumming. You know, because they do a lot of that. I and, mean, and, you said racist and funny. Yeah, unison yeah. drumming. Yeah. No. no, no, definitely not funny. Definitely For a racist. sound effect. De- no, like a. No, we understand what drumming is. In unison. Uh huh. Yeah, we get that too. Nope. Mm -hmm. Try again. Dragons. Change it. Um, Volkswagen Beetles. Change it. Asian girl giggling. Come on, man. (laughs) Come on. That was funny. (laughs) I would thought it was obvious. Uh, I guess the sound of a, a used panty dispenser. Gross. Ew. Way to take it too far. <laughs> what did I go? Ah, <laughs> I did go too far. Yes, you did. There was a line, and you, you like long jumped over it. I did. I started with unison drumming, and I went straight to uh, used weird, panties, weird sex toys. Yeah, yeah. gross. Well, used panties are weird sex toys to some people. Yeah. Well, there's in, what <laughs> in Tokyo there is apparently a used panty um, like a vending machine. Vending machine. Yeah. Yep. And. I heard that. <laughs> I, I heard that. <laughs> so, I did you know that they actually have like a dispenser for alcohol and they have these small little juice boxes, right? 99%. 99% alcohol? Yes. 
What the hell? Like, that like sterilization agent. That's not for drinking. <laughs> <laughs> My sister's best friend came from Japan, right? Uh-huh. Her boyfriend at the time brought like three of them. I was like, oh, what is this? I want to I wanna try it out. Sit. Oh, my God, it's alcohol. What's, right? the, what's the other 1%? I have no clue. Like, Maybe is water? It cranberry. It, I was going to say, like, <laughs> is it like a flavoring or is it? No, it's hard liquor, like, oh, to okay. the point so where, it's like. it's straight liquor. Is yeah. It? Okay. I tried do, uh, making, like, a screwdriver, you know, getting, you know, some orange juice and stuff like yeah. that. I put this much orange juice and maybe this much of uh, the alcohol. Yeah. Taste straight alcohol. Yep. So what you're saying is it's like a moonshine juice box. Yes. It's like it's like Does golden it have like crane. a sticky straw? Does it have yes, like the little it foil did. top? That, what the oh. hell? <laughs> it did. That's outstanding. I was like outstanding. How do people not die from this? <laughs> I don't know. Back to work. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was like the craziest Man, imagine thing. Imagine accidentally putting that in your kid's lunchbox. Yeah, right? <laughs> Coming you home. You are to getting a, kid. a call from the teacher. Mm-hmm. And the nurse. Your kid's in a coma. And the principal. <laughs> and the surgeon. And the police. Yep. Everyone is calling you. <laughs> but I they won't know what it says. Huh? It's in Japanese. They won't, they won't know what it says. Japanese, he says. <laughs> it just says, it just has characters and then add over 99%. <laughs> oh, on the box, you, okay. <laughs> uh, on the box. <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> That the Japanese people in Japan wouldn't be able to read the Japanese. <laughs> because but it's they Japanese. they can't read it because it's in Japanese. <laughs> I would think that would be the exact reason they could read it. But. You would assume, <laughs> sir. You would assume, and you would be oh, very wrong. Man. I try to stay wrong in some way. <laughs> Some way, shape, or form. Now, earlier, before we got off on whatever the hell we're talking about right. now, we were talking about uh, new tech, I think. And Justin actually mentioned earlier that Apple had like a big release day. Or Have I mentioned that? You told me something. About I really told you today. something. Like, yeah. Yeah, so today was the, uh, the Apple keynote where they unveiled the new products for the, this fall. Was it actually covered like under a blanket, like a bird cage? And they yes. Unveiled it and they unveiled it. Yes, it, it was a giant bird cage <laughs> with like a phone on like a Tweety the, Bird swing. The eye cage. And did you guys watch this? Yeah. No. I was. Uh, okay. I I was the producer. <laughs> uh, well, uh, they they there were unveiled, many ideas thrown out, and they unveiled their new Apple Watch. They unveiled their new. Why are you making that face? iPhones. That's a thinking face. He's got a thinking face. What did him. they say? I don't know. Oh, uh, there was other stuff. <laughs> uh, but no, the, the new Apple Watch, uh-huh. a new iPhone. What makes the, the, the new watch better than the old watch? It now comes with cellular. So you can uh, they be completely un, un, untethered to your phone. Oh, so now and you don't need a phone. You have your watch and that's it. You can. Huh. You can. Rather than just being like a peripheral to your phone, now it is, in fact, its own cellular device. It is its own cellular device. You don't have to have a phone to use it. So do you actually have to put that on your plan? Yes. Pay another $80? I don't know if it's another 80 They did talk about a special introductory price Oh. for when it un- uh, unveils. When a it, when special it goes. introductory price from Apple means $80. Yeah, mm-hmm. or higher than eighty dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It doesn't mean it's less no. than what you expect or anticipate. <laughs> but they, they unveiled three brand new phones. They unv- unveiled the iPhone eight, uh-huh. the iPhone eight plus. Wasn't there already an iPhone eight? Nope, it was on iPhone seven, brother. Oh, mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, then they also unveiled the iPhone ten X, which, which is spelled with an X. The iPhone X. The mm-hmm. iPhone ten. And the eight plus is actually shh, nine. It must be. Close enough. <laughs> I don't think there's going to be an iPhone 9. Well, Why they not? can't. They have an 8 Plus. They don't need a 9. They don't need one. <laughs> they, have an plus. Eight, they have an 8 Plus, and then they have a 10, X. which is actually an X. Yep. Eight min- a 10 Minus will be the next one. Mm-hmm. Um, but a lot of really cool features, including wireless charging. Finally. Finally, wireless charging. Something other phones have had for four years. Yep. yep. I remember the commercial. It was <laughs> It was the future. Yeah. Because I thought, like, wow, I could use this application on so many different devices. Like, what about electric cars? <clears throat> but, you know, they shut that shit down. They <laughs> did. They did. It's, uh, it's always been funny to me when when I 
like when Apple unveils these like new features and stuff. Like, yeah, Android's had that for a couple years now. It's yeah. nice that you've finally caught up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and they, they do features. it terribly. Yeah, they they got the now the wireless charger. Before that was the, with the fingerprint ID, mm-hmm. which which Android had already. No, I, I, Apple definitely. They unveiled, did not. They unveiled the Touch ID way before. No, they didn't. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Finger, the fingerprint scan. Android. Had, Android had. They, ha- they had that little thing where you just go like this. I'm pretty sure I saw down. that shit on Terminator in 1987. There you go. <laughs> yep. Terminator just, had it. Apple just does it better every time. <laughs> eh, I mean, they do it every time. And they do it better. Yeah. That's I why people like... still toss Android phones because they're terrible. Not a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> not a sponsor. Especially not now. Nope. Yeah, like, but what still sucks been. is that with iPhone, you have to go to an Apple store and wait two hours to get your phone fixed, kind of. Yeah. Actually, yep. that happened to my roommate. She uh, got locked out of her Apple ID thing, and it like she called the number and like, okay, we'll text you uh, a new adoration code. Well, that's not going to do anything because you can't get it to her goddamn phone. Could you text my buddy? And then, uh, nope, they won't do that. They have to. They have to text the number associated with the account. Mm. And then they're like, "Okay, we'll just go to your local Sprint store and they'll do it." And then Sprint's like, "We can't do that shit. Like, you have to go to the Apple store." And then the Apple store's like, "We can't do that shit." So it it became this big like crazy workaround thing where they would finally email her a new number, but it took two weeks. And she had to buy another phone in the meantime, transfer her, her her SIM over for two weeks. And then when they finally sent her the thing, she could get it back on her old phone. And then take back her new the new phone for like the the full price minus like thirty five bucks or something. So she did have to take a hit on that. It's too yep. much. Like a phone rental charge. Yeah. Too much time, too much money. That's yeah. such a circle jerk. Yep. See, Windows phones. Yep. All you you don't have do to worry is, about it. Yeah. Nobody uses them. Oh. Except for me. <laughs> Speaking of circle jerks, uh, I don't know if you guys. Where's this going? Yeah, I don't know if you guys are ready, but it's my birthday. <laughs> yeah, it is. Circle oh, jerks. happy birthday! I didn't know. Sorry. No, High five. You didn't. But <laughs> I'm 39. Yeah. Uh, 100 years old. 3900. And um, and I had to renew my driver's license today. Oh yeah. Uh, circle I jerk. Do that. So I couldn't use my old driver's license, mm. and while it was still valid, to go in and be like, check out this valid license that you gave me. Let me get another one. Mm-mm. Not happening. That's not how that works. Not anymore. You've got to use that driver's license mm. and then go and like get your birth certificate and your social security card and your proof of residency, and then you got to take all of that back to the driver's <laughs> license place and use that to renew your driver's license. How old was your driver's license? Thirty. What's uh? What's fifteen minus uh, thirty nine hundred? What's thirty nine hundred minus fifteen? Mm, thirty nine hundred minus fifteen. Uh, thirty. Thirty eight. Thirty eight. Uh. Uh. Thirty eight. Uh, uh. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> that math took too long. Yeah. yeah Dave and I figured it out while you we were working. Out. Uh. But um. <coughs> yeah. So that old chestnut. That's how long I've had my learner's license. <laughs> I'm pretty sure regular driver's license. held on to it license, all this time, huh? Yeah. I'm pretty sure driver's license like expires like what in five years? Uh it used to it's be an eight year it plan? used to be five or ten, and now they've gone to all of them being eight. Yeah. They decided to meet in the middle, I mm-hmm. guess. In fact, there used to be a thing where you get five or ten, and if you waited more than half an hour to like get up to the window and do your thing, it would be free. Wow. Yep. And now they don't do that. They got rid of that real (laughs) quick. (laughs) We lost a lot of revenue. But now every one of them is eight eight years, so you don't have to worry about, like, oh, do I want to get five? Do I want to get ten? When do I want to go do it? So, yeah. (laughs) So here's something I I think that we should consider Mm -hmm. as a society, and not really as a globe. I really think it's more of a a first world nation, a developed nation kind of thing. All right, racist. But a <laughs> why you say let that? Let me get there Just first. Just because I'm Filipino <laughs> now. But it's 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 more of a, an appreciation kind of day. 
you know how a lot of uh, religious groups they'll do a, a fast or mm -hmm. you know basically where you like you pick out something like with Lent I think you pick something and you just you don't do that thing yeah and you you appreciate it more right by not having it and this hurricane I feel like recently has sort of clued a lot of the world in to like what it's like to not have power to not have clean water and yeah. things like that so I think that we should have a day to sort of recognize that sort of thing and like really just shut the power down. <laughs> like one day a year, yeah. just have like a Stone Age day. Or they like call that a... the purge. <laughs> <laughs> and it seems like a lot of my crazy globalized <laughs> ideas they lead kind, to of, purge. kind of go purgey. <laughs> they go a little purgey. But that's not my intention. Right. So but that will be the result. That <laughs> may be the result. Power off for the entire nation. 700 million died last night as we <laughs> shut the power off to the globe. Every Best Buy was looted <laughs> twice last night and burned to the ground. Yep. For power. For power. So if you go to presidency, we already know there's going to be a purge. If I go in a presidency... There has been a purge of up to that point. There has already been a purge. <laughs> there has already been Quit a purge. stealing my thunder. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Already a bit of purge. If I make it, that means there were a lot of people ahead of me wiped out. Yep. I probably had a hand in it. At least one of the people at this table would have been purged. Before, <laughs> before we got there. Because we would have tried to we stop We put it. a stop to yeah. it. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> now we know this, this guy. is not going to happen. I will not serve under President Jason. <laughs> Everyone's going to come Dang. after you. You will call me Gilfamous. I may not make all perfect decisions, but I will make decisions. stand behind the decisions <laughs> the that I make. <laughs> I still, man, I still want to see a movie of the first Purge, like how, how that possibly would have went down. Wasn't that the first Purge? Nope. The they first right when there. the first movie happened, like in in the first movie of the Purge, it was already normal. There, yeah, there there have been several purges. Oh, but I want to see one of like, okay, guys, here's the plan. Congress has already ruled on this. This is what we're doing. This is the day. On this day, we decided on anything this. goes. Everyone's gonna die. We decided December twenty fourth, and then and then you know, the way the purge ended up is not the way it started on the first one. There, that was that was a trial run. You know, mm -hmm. there was definitely times where like, okay, <laughs> so no more killing of high ranking government officials because that's it. That's what one thing they mentioned in the in the purge movies is that anyone over level whatever is immune from the purge. They can't be they can't be purged. Um, and then like certain explosives and stuff aren't aren't usable and stuff like that. But you know that no didn't happen in the first fucking no purge. small yield nuclear devices, yeah. please. Yep. But that's that's the movie I want to see, and they just won't fucking make it. All right. Well, I can go ahead and just write it and give it to you right now. All right. All right. Um. So basically, what happens? Yeah. Is that uh, he's going to turn president? Population starts to get out of hand like it's doing like it's doing yeah and the uh the division between mm. the wealthy elite and the everybody else starts to become more and more apparent right to the 99 percent like it's happening like it's happening <laughs> so the government in order to maintain um laws and, and maintain order mm -hmm. and the established regime that they have built so that they're the rich elite can right. continue to be that way. Yeah. They poison the water supply. They, Dang. Po they poison the water supply of the entire United States. Mm -hmm. Why just the United States? Uh, Cause that's where the purge happens. I haven't seen the movie, but I think it's just the United States. As far as I know, if the purge yeah. happens. I haven't actually seen the movie. Oh, so I'm me either. I'm writing this never seeing another purge <laughs> movie. Yeah. But um, this is the first purge, anyways. So so they poison it, but they poison it not with like deadly poison, mm -hmm. but with like neuroactive toxins, like hallucinogenics and like rage drugs. Okay. Things to like really psychoactively soup up the entire population. Right. To like the poor population. Yes. Yeah. To like sort of let the poor kill the poor. Give them this boiling point. Right. And then they use um, subliminal messaging through all of your favorite Fox television shows. 
uh, you know, the Simpsons. Not a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. Family Guy. Uh, Malcolm in the Middle. I don't know. Is that fact? I'd be great if we could <laughs> kill all of our neighbors. Not on anymore. <laughs> well, it was a good show. All right, sure. It would be uh, great if we could kill all of our neighbors. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but you just. Uh, Peter's just, right. It would be great if I could kill my neighbors. Just, just little I'm going to murder you so hard. <laughs> But you just you just kind of montage all of that, right? Yeah. So that's just like the first twenty minutes is just like the government like having a secret clandestine meeting, right. deciding the fate of all the poor. Like you just see a bunch of like guys in suits and ties at water treatment plants, like in different <laughs> cities, like all go in at the same time, just, just like stuff flash in. a badge no one recognizes, <laughs> like kind of give a left and a right. Don't drink Whoop. this. <laughs> <laughs> As if that were how it worked. That, that was just how would it not work? That though? would work for TV. That's how it needs yeah. to work. You bloop. <laughs> Look, it's, I poisoned the entire water supply. Yeah. So <laughs> just one one little drop. <laughs> bloop. So then they, they all get souped up and hopped up. You you put out a couple of subliminal messaging, and then boom, the president comes on. He gives this big dramatic Independence Day <laughs> Bull Bill Pullman type speech. Oh yeah. Day. You know where you're all kind of like teared and patriotic. <laughs> Even though you didn't vote. We will here. fight! <laughs> it's it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he gives this big speech and then they, they subliminally code the speech as well. Mm -hmm. And then he announces the purge. As that like, all you guys just drink some uh, crazy water. Mm hmm. Well, you never, you don't tell people that, you know. <laughs> what? You've been drinking the Kool-Aid. You've been drinking the crazy water. I'm not My sure you water. Know. But he gives this big speech and then announces that the purge is going to be the solution for all of America's problems. And everybody just feeds into it because they're all hopped up on the whiz bangers. <laughs> and the, and the they're whiz -bangers. all hyped up on yeah. Mountain Dew. Yeah. And the, uh. and the, you know. Yeah, yeah, the whiz bangers. The yeah, whiz bangers. Yeah, and the, the fizzy snorts. <laughs> Look out for those fizzy, <laughs> fizzy whistles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the whisker do's <laughs> and the whisker don'ts. <laughs> Normally the whisker don'ts. Yeah. So, so that's uh, the original purge. Okay. How do you like it? That's not bad. All right. I mean, you didn't actually get to the purge part, but no. We're I mean, and then a purge happens. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> that shit writes itself. <laughs> People killing people. Yeah, it's yeah. just people killing people in dramatic fashion. You want me to give you some details on that? Because that's going to get dark. <laughs> All I can think about is zombies <laughs> when you actually said that. People killing people? No, like uh, putting people people stuff dying. inside the water and stuff like that. Isn't there like a zombie movie that had like... Something happening like that, and they all got infected and stuff, and they're like, oh, man. Every zombie movie. Yeah, Every mostly. <laughs> so you want us to have a zombie ap apocalypse again? Kind of. Uh, the British version 28 days later <laughs> yeah. which was actually one. called rage i think wasn't it like the stuff that they had yeah mm -hmm. it they was called rage, it the, they were giving the monkeys and yeah the yeah. rage virus and yeah. so like and those are full speed zombies oh yeah nobody wants to because they weren't those technically are zombies it. they were sprinting zombies. yeah they were wait is that is that the movie that uh they get stuck inside like a mall nope no it's a uh, day of the dead day of the dead oh. no. or dawn of the dead dawn yeah. of the dead yeah it's in the morning <clears throat> yeah it's definitely in the morning. Starts in the morning. 28 day, days later was the one where at the end they went into a castle. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Killian mm -hmm. Murphy. Cillian Murphy. Yeah. Whatever, however you want to pronounce Chris it. Chris Ferguson. Chris Ferguson. I don't know. Chris Ferguson. Yeah. There was, there was Night of the Living Dead. Yep. And that was like, that was actually a chemical like an old army chemical or something, I want to say. They like, there was one that was a meteor. That went what? through an yeah. asteroid. There's, There's like a meteor went through the atmosphere. Radiation happened. Zombies. There have been several that they don't even offer an explanation. Yeah, Dawn of the, the Dead was was one of them. Because you don't most really recently now they need, don't give you an explanation. You don't yeah. really need an explanation because yeah. the shit done happened. Like yeah. so, yeah, you're not going to turn it around. I it's think over. Walking Dead it didn't even give an explanation, did it? No, nope, there's yeah. no explanation. They tried to find no, he just fell out. Asleep. They went to the CDC. Yeah, they went to the CDC, and they're like, <coughs> in the in the show. Yeah, you, know, you you read the graphic novels, nope. right? Nope, I've been Who was it? Them. It was you. Yeah. It was me. It was Everybody somebody dies. on this fucking show. <laughs> <laughs> they did not go to the CDC. They didn't go to the CDC. But in the, in the show, novels. when they went to the CDC, all they really found out, or all Rick really found out, spoilers. Everybody has the virus. Yep. Everybody's infected. Everybody's dead. Everyone's infected already. And hand grenade. Hand grenade. Yep. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Hand grenade. Hey, spoiler alert for the first season. Yeah. yeah. Six episodes long. I just like to say spoiler alert. <laughs> Even though it's already done? Mm-hmm. Yep. 
Hmm. You know what? Someone should actually invent a spoiler alert. That, like, I'm pretty sure they did. You keep you keep like food in it. <laughs> oh. And like when it, <laughs> after like a certain amount of time or whatever, like you can program it. And and so like after a certain amount of time, poop the spoiler alert goes off. Spoiler alert. Spoiler no, alert. No, that's too much overhead. Spoiler alert. I'm not putting a speaker box in it. Spoiler <laughs> alert. <laughs> what about a talkie box? I would do that, yeah. I'll put a talkie <laughs> box in anything. Absolutely yeah. everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I suggest you do as well. Subscribe. Yeah. Fill your fill your bathtub with it. <laughs> and then make uh, sangria. Ooh. And get some uh, romance candles. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. Get some uh, rose petals. Yeah. And then we got to go to the Publix and get that candle. Yep. Jewish candles. Jewish dinner candles. Mm-hmm. Jewish dinner candles. Now, are they kosher? Have they been blessed? I got to assume they've been blessed. Are I they? am assuming they've been blessed. I'm pretty sure you're not eating them, so I don't think it I was matters. about to say kosher is uh, not the you're word that you want to use. Why would you lick the candles? Also, why would you ever make that face? <laughs> well, I thought... I thought kosher wasn't Shock just value. for things that you ate. I thought kosher just meant that it had been blessed by a rabbi. I don't know because I'm not Jewish. You're not? No. Nope. But you dated one. I dated a Jewish girl, and that was never a question that came up. So I don't oh, know. Man, I would have gotten all that out of the way like the first week. <laughs> all right, tell me so tell me about, about, about your Tell me religion. every single thing about your culture. Yeah. I want to be an expert by next Tuesday. And she'd be like, the culture of South Carolina? Yes. <laughs> what does that whole uh, palm tree <laughs> moon thing mean? The palmetto? Yes. Yeah, I don't know. The palmetto and the moon. Huh? What does it mean? So I guess I've been using a kosher wrong mm. this whole entire time. Kosher. How have you been using it? I'm always like, you know, oh, uh, someone would ask me a que- uh, question, and instead of saying, oh, it's good, I'd be like, oh, it's kosher. You've been using it right. I mean, it works. That's, that, oh. that's another way. I really, but it's not blessed. I, totally kosher. But you you mean it to be good or cool, and I think yeah. that's okay. It's all as right. long as it's as yeah. you're using it in positive light. You you know, just don't don't say kosher in a negative light because <laughs> yeah, that's kosher. Yeah, don't do that. Like, oh, oh where did you get your hair done? <laughs> that's kosher as shit. <laughs> 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 Because that's going to offend somebody. Yeah, don't do I that. probably, that's not going to be a thing. I probably just offended Dave's ex-girlfriend just yeah. now. Yep. I do, that, I do that to everybody, though. Yeah. You haven't offended me yet. Not yet? Oh, man. You man. opened up a can of worms. You are, you are tolerant, sir. He, uh, yep. I appreciate He is the resident Asian. He hasn't cracked any Asian jokes? No, nothing like that. Uh, I, think he's I did him. ask if your ancestor was a pirate. True, but that's not really... It's kind of racist. For Asians. It's not exclusively Asian. That's like everybody. It doesn't make Jason any less racist. I mean, there's like, <laughs> there was like a few British pirates, you know, some Spanish pirates, some Italian pirates, some Portuguese some Jamaican pirates. pirates and stuff like that. Were there Jamaican pirates? Well, Jamaican. Probably. I'm, I mean, probably, right? Like, right. I guarantee you everybody's I mean, at least a pirate. If there was piracy in the Caribbean... There's probably piracy from the Caribbean. Right. And all you got to do to, like, be a pirate captain is a successful mutiny, right? Pretty yeah. much, yeah. So you could have a French and guy come down storms. and be like, ha, 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 I'm a pirate. And then you could just cut his throat in the dark and be like, now I'm a pirate, man. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Whatever. It was, it was great. That was great. Especially after this storm, they can literally, all the pirates come out of nowhere, yeah. just take everything. Now, see, I was actually like looking up some information at the behest of uh, Jason about some of these storms, and I found out some really interesting information. The sea tornadoes? The sea tornadoes. <laughs> yeah, tell you us know, about not them. Not pulling out they, of your ass? They, no, this is not pulling out of my ass. I actually did thorough research. It oh, took yeah. uh, I several wanted, I wanted minutes. the truth. I, I want a 12 page Several essay minutes. with like your. Uh, yeah, I want to see graphs and stuff. <laughs> yeah. like. Everything. So, uh, depending on the location of the storm and where it's formed and where it goes, determines what type of name it has. Right. They go counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere mm-hmm. and clockwise in the southern mm-hmm. hemisphere. True that. Yeah. In the United States. Which is the opposite of toilets. Sea toilets, yeah. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say toilets. Because <laughs> no, I know see, toilets it, flush differently depending on the hemisphere. They actually don't. They in don't? in no, the United States, 
Is that a myth? Mm -hmm. I have been lied to yeah, for, for 39 so years long. as of today. You are talking <laughs> out of your ass now. Someone now, talked out of their ass to yeah, me. That, that's yeah, a common myth time. that a lot of people believe, and it turns out it's not true. All we right. could always ask Fun Dip. Yeah, we could. <laughs> we could always ask Fun Dip. Fun Dip. Let us know about the toilets in uh, what, New Zealand? New Zealand, yes. Uh, in the United States, we call these storms hurricanes. Mm -hmm. Hurricanes. 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 Now, um, other parts of the world, like for example, Cartoon Network, Australia, Australia calls them willy nillies. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. All right. Or willy willies. Sorry. Willy Will willies. Willy willies. That's, That's not better. Willy. Willy willies. Uh, they are called uh, typhoons. Okay. In in the uh, in the Asian. Southeast Asian areas. All right. Yep. Typhoons. They're also called cyclones. Yep, I've heard heard of that. Or oh. no, I rode that. I rode that at Six Flags. Yes, you did. Okay. <laughs> cyclones, yes. I've heard cyclones referring to tornadoes, though, too. Because a cyclone is, it's just a cyclone. But okay. I think, I believe that might be the British uh, interpretation. Do they have tornadoes in, in England? Like, No, definitely not. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, they're, they're very, immune. they wear top hats. <coughs> yeah. Their tornadoes are very proper. Yes. <laughs> it's not allowed. Cyclones. Yeah, There's cyclones. A, a, yeah. Cyclone. A cyclone. Good day, gentlemen. <laughs> I will be cyclone. your cyclone. <laughs> I'm your cyclone for the evening. Oh. Uh, I so, figure I might as well insult as many as I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, while I'm doing voices. Are they going to have, get have the mustache too? Uh -huh. but, uh, but they also, you know, hurricanes have names. Yeah. And their they're naming patterns, some people are familiar with some of the aspects of them. Uh, for example, they go in alphabetical order. Uh -huh. Yes. And they go male, female, male, female. Male, yes. female, they and alternate And they used to gender. always be female, right? Didn't I believe all storm names used to be female until ladies were like, that's sexist as shit. <laughs> I, I, I can't confirm or deny that. As, as long as I've known about it, I remember learning about them in, in middle school, I think. And back then... It, we were told that there were there were six lists of names for for uh, these storms, and they always went boy girl boy girl, and then it always started at A at the beginning of the year, and they just go to the next list the next year if they didn't get through all this all the names. Nope. So well, I mean, it's very close, mm -hmm. very close. There are six lists of names, only six, and they recycle every six years. Now, in a given hurricane season, if they get to the end of the list. They will simply move on to Greek alphabet. And some letters are excluded just because, like, letters like X and Q are excluded from these lists. But when you get to Z and you still have more, more storms coming, then it goes to alpha, <coughs> beta, so on and so forth. That's pretty cool. And they will retire names and add new late names to the list if one of those names becomes a big enough destructive storm. So right. we probably won't see another Francis. Or a, or Katrina. Or we won't see another or Katrina. Andrew. Yeah, we like won't some really see bad those. storms. Wasn't it Hugo? Hugo was Hugo, pretty bad. Yeah. Yep. So we probably won't see another Harvey. Yeah. We probably won't see another Irma. Mm -mm. But we will probably see another Jose. We will probably see another Katya. Katya. I feel like there was a Jose a few years ago. Exactly. There probably was. Yeah. Maybe about six years ago. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'm kind of disappointed by this, though. Yeah, you thought it was somebody just coming up with fresh as shit I, names I every really, year? I, 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 figured <laughs> I thought it, so, too. I just wanted to be that guy. Like, like I thought, I what a neat him. job. Or that lady. What a neat job that Hashtag that would be. I mean, you'd be the guy. I'd be the you guy version. Be the lady. <laughs> uh, yeah, possibly, you could be. Possibly I'd be the guy version. And uh, I would just, you know, like, oh, it's a new storm. Hell yeah. Like, I'm going to get creative on this one. You Hurricane know? Jason. Uh, also I'm going to name this one Alistair. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad name for one, though. Yeah. That's yeah. a pretty yeah. sick name. Or like Hurricane Guillermo. Yeah. yeah. You know, get fancy Guillermo. with it. Like, show off. I mean, oh, so you have to roll the R, though, like, huh? you, you, get these, you get these names, and some of them are, are sort of, like, Harvey. Sort of a common name. Maybe not so much anymore. But then, like, Hugo? That's not a real common name. Nope. Andrew was. Irma, not so much. So... Now, there's a lot of Irmas in, like, uh, the Spanish culture. That's true. Yeah. That they are. That they are. Sandy. I don't but know it's, any, it's, though. it's no. still pretty now, interesting, this, though. This list, though, um, you say we give them American or Latin-based names depending on where they originate and where they're going. So Some storms aren't named at all. 
And so they like won't... some of the Willy Willies don't get named. Some of the Willy well, Willies don't get named. It's it's Cyclones. once they hit tropical storm status, right? Where yeah, it gets once once it goes from a tropical depression to a tropical storm, that's when it gets issued a name. Yeah. And it can retire if it becomes a hurricane of enough destructive force. Mm. Um, so, you know, Jose was given a name like a, a while ago when it became a tropical storm, and now it's finally depressing out again. But uh, there, if there are other tropical depressions out there, they're not going to have a name until they get larger. I feel like if people called it a willy willy, <laughs> it wouldn't be taken as seriously as it should. Oh, we I have mean, a willy willy. It's got a willy willy off the coast. It's in Australia where everything's trying to kill you anyway. Willy willy, probably not that big a deal. But what if they named this storm Willy and then it's like the Will- willy 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 William? <laughs> Just feel like it's too silly to For take, a willy willy. <laughs> take seriously. That's all. I'm just saying. Yeah. You know, oh, cyclone. Yeah. Like, it's got some power behind it. it. Willy like, Willy. I like uh, Typhoon. Typhoon. Yeah, that's a good one. Typhoon that's is so fun. Good. Yeah. Ty- Typhoon the Goon. In Australia, it is called a Willy Willy. In the hur- it, in the U.S., it's a hurricane. And in the Southern Pacific, a typhoon. The only true difference between a hurricane, a cyclone, and a typhoon is where in the world the storm is. Hmm. Well, on they- that. That's kind of the end of the show. Whoa! Yeah. Do, do, are there any crazy names for typhoons and stuff, or is it all stuff you can't pronounce? I think there was actually a typhoon out there in Dude, the world right now. Where is so that typhoon? He, he likes to on. keep the smartest phone. <laughs> <laughs> My phone is... <laughs> so, so we have... The uh, Talim. We have uh, Typhoon Talim. Daksuri. Uh, typhoon Taksuri. Daksuri. Doxuri? I don't know. I'm not. Yep, Doxuri. Right. So that was yeah. my question was like in other areas and other regions. Yeah, they're are probably they, named other things. Do they have yeah. like hey, that's the cultural Philippines. names that make more hmm? sense for that's that the culture? Right there. Yeah. Sure or are there is. people that's in Japan man. being like, oh, they got a, a, it's getting a hit by a. And they, <laughs> this says hurricane, like, but it's getting hit by a typhoon, typhoon right now. Okay. Called Typhoon Talum. Well, I learned today on the show. That in Australia, hurricanes are called Willy Willies. Yep. Willy Willies. That's which the is best hilarious. One. It's pretty Dave's good. Dave's always using the very last thing he heard. Actually, Willy I was gonna, <laughs> what I was going to say before I heard that was I learned that tech keeps a box of romance candles for emergencies. I just do not have case. just a box, all right? I several have, boxes like, based on the mood. I actually have a lot more than several. <laughs> <laughs> I have four different types of like uh, lighters and everything. Three different types of petals. Oh, wow. You don't even understand. I, <sighs> tech, you're giving away all your Ladies, that, that tech is available. That literally tens of girls watch. <laughs> listen, Some listen. Some of them may even be single. <laughs> yeah. So, what did you learn today? I learned yeah. that if he's president, make sure to kill him first. Yeah. Yes, because I true. do not want to purge. <laughs> I don't purge. want people to steal my candles. The purge will have already <laughs> happened if Jason is even yeah. considered for president. Mm-hmm. We've already missed the window. It means I would have won like five or six purges. <laughs> the winner of this like, year's purge, yep. Jason. I mean, a lot of people win the purges by not dying. Hunger Games champion six years in a row, <laughs> President Jason Martin. Yeah. What would you learn, President? <laughs> <laughs> it's me dodging all of y'all's bullets. Yeah. Uh, I learned... That fucking Australia's toilet water goes the same damn way as my toilet water. Well, we don't know that yet. I mean, we're not sure. But we need to confirm because this guy I, who's never been to Australia tells us that it's, he's debunked the myth. Yeah. Yeah. but So I, I don't mean, believe it. I was believing hearsay. Why wouldn't I believe this opposition hearsay? Right. Fair enough. All right. What'd you learn, Justin? Fair enough. I learned that there are juice boxes of booze. <laughs> and I want uh, one. The, the, sippy uh, straw. I want a sippy straw <laughs> and juice box of booze. Listen up. If you can get us a sippy box of booze, or I want one. I don't care about them. Sippy box. Make sure that happens. <laughs> Leave us a comment on the video. We'll drink it and, on this, uh, and in we'll, this show. Absolutely, we'll drink it on this yeah, show. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's got to be a website for us to order that in. Come on. One of our, yeah, but I want our viewers slash listeners to do it for us. One of, of the course. 15 yeah, to 20 well. people that watches this show is guaranteed making a trip to Japan soon. Right, yeah. Garan- guaranteed. Guaranteed. <laughs> Let me ask you. I mean, they I won't be able to read it one. because it's in Japanese. They're not going to read it. They just, they just know it's 99 it. I don't know. It's probably right. It says 99%, <laughs> so let's hope it's not <laughs> something gross. 
Just find, look for the used panty vending machine, <laughs> and then find the juice box it, machine. It's near right it. next door. Next it, yeah, there it is. That's it for tonight. Y'all have a great night, everybody. Good, Good night, night, everybody. Good night. So if I actually buy one, would you chug it? Yes. Oh my god. Yeah. I will buy it, but all three of you guys. I ain't chugging it. I'm not chugging it. <laughs>